On the 20th of March 2024, we were down here to see the last ever Coke pushed out of the Morva Coke ovens, and actually the last Coke ever made in the UK for the UK steel industry. We've come back today because many people have thought that was the end of the story. Coke ovens get turned off, no more Coke, end of play. But actually, for many people, that's where the story has begun because after that day started the decommissioning of the plant. So we've come back down to find out what decommissioning looks like, what it feels like, what the work that's required, and how long that might go on. So we stood in front of Battery 38, which is the last oven ever pushed uh, by Terry Lyshan. I'm joined by Corey Davis. Corey, who were here on that day, seems ages ago now. You've been busy. Yeah, very busy. So since the last push, we uh, put the whole plant under the nitrogen purge. So basically nitrogen coming in, forcing any of the residue gas out of the system, um, making sure the CO levels were dropped below 50 parts per million. And then we've held the, the plant under a nitrogen blanket since that point. Um, like I said, a lot of work done. We've got 80% uh, decommissioned of the battery now. Uh, we've only got the blast furnace gas main and the coke oven gas main to go. Yeah, because people won't really understand what decommissioning of these ovens looks like. People may not understand what's here, but you've got, you know, 80-odd ovens. They've all got, I guess most of them have got hot refractory bricks inside them. You purge the gases out. But there's still lots of, I hesitate to call it gunge, uh, left in the pipe work. That's, you've got to do something with that, haven't you? You can't just leave it there, can you? No, you can't just leave it there, no. So the, the, the oven walls themselves, even though the gas has been taken off, it has taken some time for them to actually drop in temperature. So as the temperature drops, we do see some movement in the battery as well. So we have been keeping a close eye on the movement of the battery. Uh, we've actually had to take out a lot of ascension pipes as well because some of them have moved. So they become a safety risk, so we've taken them out to play as well. So close monitoring of the battery. And as you said then, the mains themselves, there's a lot of residue left in there that we've got to get clearance of now as well. So we're working with close call contractors now to clear out the mains. Because this is a largely, I guess, about health, safety and the environment. Because at some stage, sadly, these ovens will be taken down and, it, and, and you have to hand the site over to a demolition contractor in a state where they can't come into, into any harm as well. Yeah, that's correct. So at the moment, we're in the make safe. So we're going through the full decommissioning process. And then, as you said, we'll hand it over to a keep safe team then. And we've got to hand it over in a safe possible condition. Then. Yeah, good. 80% of the work's already been done. Uh, plenty of work still to go and as I said at the beginning these are the ovens that people will recognize but there's another part to the Morva coke ovens which people may not be aware of just before we go over there explain what's just across the road so so byproducts plant so obviously people know the Morva coke ovens for making coke and then obviously the byproduct gas then which is used around the business of coke oven gas as well so yeah byproducts which Matthew Frey will take you through now perfect let's go and have a look Okay, so we've come over the road now from the coke oven batteries and we're at the byproducts plant. I'm joined by Matt Frey, who is production manager of byproducts. Matt, people may not understand that this plant even exists next to the coke ovens. When the ovens were working, just simply explain to us what happens here. Okay, so when the ovens are working, they're producing gas continually. That gas has to go somewhere, and the byproducts plant is exactly what it says in the tin. It takes the byproducts contained within the gas and the byproducts from the coke making process, um, strips them out so we can sell some of these byproducts, which are tar and benzoyl, and then it also cleans the gas uh, to make it usable for consumers around site. Yeah, so this is effectively a petrochemical plant on the site of a steelworks, and uh, there's some pretty nasty stuff in here. I guess, but it has some value in uh, while the coke ovens is working. But your challenge now is to decommission this part of the plant, this petrochemical plant. It must be highly regulated, it must be highly systematic. But what are the big challenges of decommissioning a place like this? So the, the biggest challenge now is the residue left behind in all this pipe work you can see in all these vessels behind us. So some of this material is what we call pyrophoric, which means it will combust if air is allowed to sort of get into these vessels and make contact with it. Um, so our biggest challenge now is keeping that all safe until we get around to cleaning these vessels out. And the way we keep it safe is through nitrogen. So initially we nitrogen purge the entire system. Yeah. That was quite that was the simple bit really. And now we keep we're holding the plant under a nitrogen blanket. It's all locked in um, by use of the gas solar, which we are using as effectively a big accumulator. 
Yeah, nitrogen as an inert gas, so we understand you purge it with nitrogen such that there's no atmosphere for those nasties that you talked about. But nitrogen's a hazard in itself, isn't it? Yeah, so effectively we replaced one hazard, which is coke gum gas, with another gas, which is, which is nitrogen, so it's an asphyxiant. Uh, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. Um, so we need strict controls around anybody, well, for everybody working here now at, at the moment. Yeah, and, and uh, Corey was earlier saying they've got about 80% of the decommissioning completed on the battery. How far, how far are you down the road on the byproducts? So the byproducts is a far bigger challenge than the battery. So what we need to do, first of all, is we've got to produce an isolation and mobilisation for each and every single piece of kit. So as you can see, all these vessels behind us, there's 11 primary vessels. And then that's without the ancillary vessels, so that's without the benzyl plant vessels, the ammonia plant, the turbines. So we, we, we're not, we, we're slowly working our way through it, but in terms of decommissioning, we've, only, we've got about three or four assets currently decommissioned on the byproduct. Yeah, because earlier when we were talking with you and some of your colleagues, you were saying, look, this, this work's probably going to go through to the end of the year because there's that much work to do. And at some stage, this will all come down. And as I said to Corey, this is about health, safety and environment, isn't it? Yes, and what this process is about is making sure that we get this plant in a fit state to hand over to whoever's going to be the custodian next yeah. to say, OK, this, this is what you've got to do to take this down safely um, and this is the condition we've left it in for you to do that. Yeah, it's a hell of, hell of a piece of work, man. Thanks very much for bringing us down here. And, uh, you know, people should not fall into the trap of thinking that once you turn the power off, that that is the end of the story. There's a massive amount of work here and it's only when you start climbing up onto these structures and seeing the scale of the work here uh, that you understand you know how much work there is to do and how many people is required to do it and the level of detail that's going into it because of the legislation and the health and safety uh, aspects of it all is incredible and um, it is a huge amount of work it's a, a very important part of the story about transforming the site and critically important there are lots of hazards but fortunately we've got people like Martin people like Corey who uh, were involved in running down the coke ovens now looking after the decommissioning of it. Matt, listen, thanks very much for bringing us here. Power to your elbow, because it's a hell of a job to do you've got here. And uh, we'll definitely come back and see how you're getting on later in the year. Please do, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.